Python equivalent of Perl file test readable, R, writable, W, and executable, X, operators. I have been googling to try and find an equivalent in Python to some of Perl's file test operators. Most of the file test operators are just a direct Pythonification of the underlying OSTAT call. For example, os.statfile.sc underscore time just reads the inode change time as the Nix stat utility or LSL would do. Some of the Perl file test operators I cannot find an equivalent in Python. For example, I have a data tree of 85,000 image files created by a variety of applications. Some of the files have the effective UID set in a way that is nettlesome and a modification fails for a permission issue. So for those files I need to run something like Since I have not found the equivalent in Python, I have to shell out to Perl to find these files. I found this table which suggests there is no direct equivalent. True. Looking at the output of Strace, Perl does a stat call followed by get groups to get the supplementary group is of the Perl process. So it seems it just checks the results of the stat call against the UID. Egit and supplementary group ids. Python has a get groups function in OS, so I'm sure you could do the same. Edit, you could try something like this if nobody comes up with a better answer. Hardly tested. Obviously the W1 would be almost identical, but with W underscore OK, S underscore Uwisser, etc. Starting with Python 3.3 you can do this with OS.access. Changed in version 3.3, added the dear underscore FD, effective underscore ids, and follow underscore some links parameters. If effective underscore ids is true, Access will perform its access checks using the effective UID slash GID instead of the real UID slash GID. Effective underscore ids may not be supported on your platform, you can check whether or not it is available using os.supports underscore effective underscore ids. If it is unavailable, using it will raise a not implemented error. To check if your effective user can write to a file, most would simply open it and try, and catch the error in an exception. May not be the correct solution in all cases, but goes some way to explaining why there is no specific support for this. OS.access does exactly what you want. Use the real UID slash GID to test for access to path. Note that most operations will use the effective UID slash GID, Therefore this routine can be used in a SOAT slash did environment to test if the invoking user has the specified access to path. 